I am uh, speaking tonight about peaceful secession and the fact that moving to New Hampshire or Wyoming, if that's your free state project, is not a project that simply means taking over your respective state legislature and abiding or changing via that legislature as a remaining part of these United States. I would urge you that the alternative and the thoughtful thing to do is to get the hell out of the United States because this country is wrong in so many ways. Since 1893, it has been making war on the world. Starting in Hawaii, and this was after a generation before, a formal divorce proceeding by 11 states was issued in 1861. Ultimately, the federal government did prevail, and in 1865, Lincoln put the fetid and gravely flawed Constitution in hyperdrive to bring us to where we are today. No ill intentions. I just want you guys to understand. You know. And you know what? If you get too close to me with that camera, I'll take it out of your hand and ram it down your throat. The reason why people need to escape what we call these United States is because while it is 220 years old, it certainly doesn't mean that it's going to last forever. All of us know as a result of economic, societal, and a variety of other psychoses that are affecting the nation as a whole at the macro level, that we cannot sustain ourselves economically as a country. $16 trillion in acknowledged debt, 120 to $170 trillion in monies that we're going to deliver to people via Socialist Security, Medicaid, Medicare, you name it. They're going to be wealth transfers from those who either pay taxes currently or loans that are taken out on our children, our grandchildren, and our great-grandchildren. This cannot stand. It is absolutely unsustainable, and not only that, we are at a crisis point in this country where it's not a matter of if, but when, this calamity is going to collapse the country. And where do you want to be when that collapse comes? Do you want to be part of these United States or do you want to be apart from these United States? I would urge you that the latter is the moral way that we need to do this because it's time for formal divorce proceedings. Isn't it curious? Thank you. Isn't it curious that if any one of you out there finds that your current relationship is irreconcilable, you must get a divorce whether you're getting a divorce from your wife, your husband, or your chicken, whatever the case may be, what you discover is that you can, in most states, have these divorce proceedings go apace and eventually come to some kind of agreeable solution between the two parties to make it happen. Here's my warning to you. If New Hampshire or parts of New Hampshire attempt such a divorce from these United States, and they do so in the same manner that we would follow in civil law with current marriage, protocols the way they are in these United States. You will get a visit from men with guns. These men with guns will come into your house, New Hampshire, and they will say, if you ever attempt to civilly and peacefully divorce yourselves from this great nation of ours, we're going to make sure that we fine you, kidnap you, cage you, maim you, or kill you, usually in that order if they sick the police on you or in some other fashion if they make it a military move. In the end, what this means is that it's perfectly moral and non-reprehensible for all of us to get a divorce as individuals, but if we dare to divorce from other na nations or nation states, that's the end. They can't tolerate it. Isn't it interesting that in these United States, again and again, we will proctor a divorce overseas in different countries. As a matter of fact, since 1990, there have been 34 new nation states that have been created in this planet. There are currently, by the United Nations estimation, 196 nation states extant and existing in the, on Earth as we speak. 15 of those new nation states seceded peacefully as a result of parting from the Soviet Union. 
a number of other of these fractures were not so peaceful. And the thing that you've got to keep in mind, too, is that in the current climate in America, secession is a four-letter word. How many of you in this room have ever been in a uh, conversation with friends or family or community, or even at an outing like this, where you mentioned, well, you know, maybe divorce and secession is the answer to all of our ills, and people look at you as if you have a male organ growing out of your forehead. They certainly do, because they don't even like the idea. As a matter of fact, that idea is paradigmatically out of their field of intellectual vision. They don't even want to contemplate it. What they'll tell you is, well, we fought one war of secession with the Confederacy, and they lost. Well, guess what? That happens to be the second war of secession that we fought.